I want to show you guys an immersive mod. It's called Seasons of Skyrim, and it does exactly what it says. It changes the Seasons of Skyrim. In this video, I really want to show you guys kind of the effects it takes in Skyrim through its seasons. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you actually install it. Well, I realized my last video uh, well, it was actually muted because I'm an absolute idiot. So I decided to delete that one, and I decided to come to Riften and change it back to Autumn or Fall, axe, which looks amazing you. because this is actually the natural season. I'm still sore when I took that out. Oh my god, I hate yeah. arches. This is the natural season of the Rift, Autumn, but the seasons of Skyrim, you can see it green and you can see it white. So let's test that out right now. Now, as we can see, during summer, and I'm pretty sure spring, this place goes green. Um, I don't even think I really like it, eh? Like, I really like the it's rift. It's natural, beautiful, autumn feeling. But, yeah, variety is always place. good. Oblivion so, every let's go and check over. Good old-fashioned winter, right? Well, check out the beauties of winter in the rift. Rebels think they can best us, now, as you can see, there's a little weirdness going on. Um, I don't know, it, like, that I don't really mind. But look at this. There's still that tinge of the rift you know, in autumn. Because again, autumn, winter, they go hand in hand with each other. And it's kind of cool to see if these trees will actually load into winter trees if they stay that way. But yeah, man, that is um, amazing. So let's go check out White Run because that's the video that I did that I muted because I'm a idiot. Now the weather's pretty much clear at the moment, but as you can see, it's covered in the snow, which is good. And the trees in the background, same thing. They are covered in snow and all that kind of goodness. I, you know, the weather when I did this was actually a slight bit of uh, snow, but I've changed the weather to 12 in the day, so it's got like the typical weather of um, Whiterun. But uh, it might change with like mods like Cathedral Weathers or any other mod that kind of understands what time of the year it is. It might give a bit more snow across Skyrim. Like if I... See, yeah, I just sped up time a bit and it naturally went kind of grey. Oh, I'm becoming a vampire. <coughs> that, it's clear again. Ooh. But, as you can see, it's now winter. Now, the one thing I do want to mess around with is setting it back to the month that I'm actually playing on, which is Frostfall. I want to see if this place actually looks now with my Dynalog fixed. I want to see if this like has that winter's coming feel to it. Now I went back to Frostfall um, and some of the trees are still dead and there's still some white pines which is pretty cool. The white pines. So it does look like you know autumn is meant to be. Dead trees and some of the white sort of pines in the background to kind of indicate that you know, autumn is the sort of season of uh, Flora's, Flora's death and the gateway to winter. But what I really want to go see is, um, I remember Bulk Creek was very beautiful. So, why do I keep getting bannies? <laughs> oh my god. Let's go check out Bulk Creek real quick. Now, normally Bulk Creek is very green, but now that it's in autumn or fall, it's kind of, you know, gone to that sort of colour where things are starting to die. Plus you've got those little white Thingy bobs right here, so it kind of feels like it's shifting into um, winter. But I think I'm pretty sure that frostfall is the middle of autumn, so I think it's like October. I'm pretty sure it's a month before winter, or it's could even be September in the uh, calendar of Skyrim. Why do I keep hearing this suspect Damn noise chasing me? Unless this is a forest, it sounds like this, but I've got no idea. But as you can see, very nice. Um, 
look, if you want to stick around and check out what it looks like during winter, I'll change it over real quick. And we can see what Fall Creek looks like in winter. And we'll run all the way to uh, the Cities of the North's um, Felkreath. Here we are, Falkreath Forest, covered in winter. Holy crap, man. Now, I've got a fonder memory of, um, it's over there actually, of winter. I actually got lost. Now, I was doing exactly what I'm doing now. I had troops, and I'm, you know, going to a battle, and the battle is in Markarth, and I'm running to Markarth, but I'm lost because everything's white. It's not your normal, typical Markarth. And I run under this fort because I'm like, oh, I'll go this way. So I go that way. And it's Fort Sunguard. Now, there's two ways of it. Like, there's the white run approach and there's the going into the reach approach. And we're just running down. I'm not paying any attention. All of a sudden, I hear chink, 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 chink. Like, arrows hitting the floor. I'm like, holy shit. I look up and there's like shit tons of them. Stormcloak archers just raining down arrows on us. And there's like a cliff wall. And... Every single troop that I had decided to hug the cliff wall. Those that didn't, unfortunately, like a couple of them got put on their knees with all the damage they were taking and died on the spot. So a couple of them were killed. But the rest of us, like the melee uh, characters, were sitting under the wall, ducking under cover, and there was this mage. And I've actually got her with me. Um, she's dressed up as a captain. Here she is. This chick right here, man, she, she's got like a lightning bolt. I've got this mod called Maximum Carnage, and when they hit, when she hits them with lightning bolt and they My die, was a they and splatter. I mean, they go everywhere. And so there's these just bits and pieces of rebel soldiers just falling off the keep. And like, it's probably like a good 50 meter rise. Like, I'm probably thinking like up here is where they were shooting at us from. And there's guts and there's limbs, pieces, half a torso, half of ass cheeks. Fucking skulls flying down, man. Like, we were getting Damn rained on by arrows and bits and pieces of people. It was nuts. And that was one of my fondest memories because I was taken completely off guard because I was lost. What the shit? Shotgun. And, yeah, it just scared the shit of me. And, like, we were all hugging the wall because we just got ambushed. We just walked ourselves into a trap. I don't attach into our door so I don't start anything. We're almost at Felkreath, it's over there. And like amazingly about this mod is that it takes into account other mods. But when we get into Felkreath, it's gonna look like it's covered in snow. Apart from the occasional flora. Look at the roos, man. They got snow on them. Even the archers got snow on them. <laughs> sort of the greenery around here. That is a, it is a modern city, but it's like this stuff is. But there's the moment. Covered in snow, man. Like the roos have snow on them, which is probably the most immersive feature. It looks like it's going through winter, like the rest of Skyrim. And this is why anybody should get. Uh, the Seasons of Skyrim. Do understand though, to have it look like this, you're going to need to learn how to use Dynalot. Um, but Game Poet has some really cool um, video tutorials and they go in, he goes into depth with all sorts of mod managers that have like Vortex and Mod um, Organizer. I've watched these enough times where I've picked it up and know what to do, but it's good if you don't know how to do that to watch these videos because they are very, very helpful when it comes to installing Dynalot. Don't, you don't just get a better lod in general, but you're able to have the seasons of Skyrim land on it, you know, like one day it's winter and the next day it's summer and whatever, man. You can choose it as the console commands and you're able to have an, an, a ten times more immersive Skyrim because for those that are still here, when Bethesda finished development, they gave all the developers about, I think a week or two to create whatever they wanted like, as mods for the game. Um, and they did that, and a couple of those things actually ended up in the games, like Dragon Flying, uh, the Vampire Lord, which was eventually put into the Dawn Guard thing, so whoever created that got an entire goddamn DLC out of it. And there was another thing in the background, it was called Seasons. And Skyrim would naturally change over the course of its time. But that never got into the game, which is so unfortunate, and we had to wait many years for that, and I think this came out a year ago, or two years ago, that 
it finally is the piece of Skyrim that we're, that we're all missing. Yeah, where Skyrim will change over time. And you can go into a cave, sleep on the 30th of October, wake up at the 1st of November, and it's snowing. You know, and that's the great thing about this, is that it happens in-game. You don't have to worry about installing textures here and there each time the seasons blow over. It just works in-game, and I love it. And anybody that wants that sort of immersion, I highly suggest you get it. It'll be a pain in the ass to get set up if you don't use Dynalod, but it's 100% worth it in the long run. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give me a dislike if you want. <laughs> um, and yeah, just couldn't recommend it more. And also, thank you to the modders that create these uh, works of art. Anyway, I'm out of here. Look out of yourselves, and peace.